Cement, the world's most important building material, with four gigatons being produced every single year. That is equivalent to 8 million international space stations or 12 million Boeing 747 jets. That's a lot of cement. What you may not know, however, is that it is actually a mass producer of carbon dioxide, as its production requires limestone and clay to be heated to around 1500 degrees Celsius in a chemical process which releases enormous amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere. Reports state that currently it contributes towards 8% of the world's emissions. And with escalating demand for homes, that number is only going to rise. Unless the industry adapts. Fortunately, the solution already exists in the form of green cement. It makes use of industrial waste that would otherwise be sent to landfill, and it doesn't require as much heat during its production, instead locking CO2 inside the material and releasing up to 80% less of the pollutant. Companies across the globe are working towards replacing the traditional method with this new technology, and with the rising awareness among consumers surrounding the negative impact of carbon emissions, combined with the various environmental policies introduced by government bodies, the industry is changing. According to iMark Group, the global green cement market reached a value of 27.2 billion US dollars in 2021, and they expect it to reach 56.6 by 2027. Now, it is still a very new solution, so there aren't that many companies focused on it yet. But all it takes is one question to spark an idea for change. So, if you find yourself buying a new home or need your driveway or garden patio repaved, just ask, do you use green cement?